Ah yes, Formula E, the motorsport series which most people love to hate. But to me, I mean, it's alright. The racing's actually pretty good, but that's what you would normally expect from a spec series. So one thing unique about Formula E compared to every other motorsport series is that they only compete in street circuits. Apart from a few exceptions like Portland International Raceway, Autodromo Hermanos Rodriguez, and I think their most recent purpose-built racetrack was uh, the circuit Ricardo Tormo which hosts the Valencian Grand Prix in MotoGP. But today, I'm going to be seeing if these tiny little electric cars can race at Spa, which almost every single motorsport series has raced on, apart from Formula E, of course. So today, we're going to be seeing on a set of Corsa if 20 other Formula E cars can handle 10 laps of Spa. So let's get into the video. Also, I got a boom arm. This should, this should hopefully address all the the two loud um shifting noises according to the comments so yeah that, that should that should be that should address it but i think i did a test um recording on that a few days ago there's still a bit of noise but it's not as exaggerated it's not as loud as before my voice always sounds like i'm in the other room when i used to record because i used to just put my mic on top of a glass i didn't have like a proper mounting system because uh, the mic stand for that i broke it so this should this should be good for now it's not even it's not even like a proper holder so i had to get a bracket for that as well but one thing that isn't fixed is the mounting solution next level racing if you're watching this video can you please send me free stuff or track racer or whoever all right so we have loaded it up and as you can see it's based off of a gen 2 fe car i'm not sure if there's a gen 3 fe car for a set of corsa no there's no way i'm going to be paying for a, the dlc on r factor 2 and also that r factor 2 is a pretty bad game so yeah i'm gonna have to stick with a set of corsa for this as we're now waiting for the one two three four six red lights instead of five and away we go decent start off the line going to second gear almost immediately and i'm just gonna send one in a side of turn one okay never mind that was a bad idea never mind which position are we in probably p16 because it's not updating in the live the real time there in the uh, live leaderboard as we get through Eau Rouge and radion a bit of contact with that mahindra or something i think my formula e knowledge is not that great i'm gonna be real the only formula e race that i've ever seen live was the beijing e pre back in 2014. i don't have to shift into first for that post edit me here i only found out that you didn't need to shift the formula e cars at all it was just natural to shift for me so yeah a bit of, of a mistake on my end all right, do I want to send one or just play it safe? Uh, I'll just play it safe right here. I haven't used my push to pass yet. I think, yeah, he's the, the guy on their inside is only using um, push to pass. Whoa. Okay, so I think can try and do a double overtake here. Into the bus stop chicane. Oh, co no. Um, Sebastian Vettel, Jensen Button, anybody? Well, never mind that. Or P15. Pack. Is that Manny Pacquiao? Oh my gosh. Piss poor driving. Alright, let's use our push to pass here. Mm, look at the straight line speed. It's actually pretty fast. I think the top speed is um, getting quicker than a GT3 car. Okay, nice. That was good racing there. Since I was going faster, I had to brake much earlier. Okay. We got him. Oh, locking up the front right there. Alright, we're going to bust up chicane. I'm not going to try anything that will probably hinder my race. Oh gosh, that guy in front locking up. Yeah, that's what of course the AI. Okay, I'm also driving pretty dirty, but that's what of course the AI have like no situational awareness at times. Okay, that was my fault, definitely. All right, let's do a 
Mark Webber. All right, that happened before Erosion Radion. Hemel straight now. Here comes Sebastian Vettel. Oh. Oh no. All right, can we? Okay, I'm gonna have to break early here because instead of sending one, I feel like that's safer. Ooh, okay. Yep, too late on the brakes there. Oh, okay, I lost it a bit there. Got scared for a minute. Lock it up again. I'm not sure of how realistic this car is. Because I've never, um, I've never driven a Formula E car before today, if I'm going to be honest. But it's VRC, so I trust them that this car is of good quality. We're making a lot of positions now. I just have to break to avoid him. Otherwise, I would have been dirty. Uh, okay. Oh, he got it. Oh, whoops. No, almost spun there. I was able to save it. Alright, thank you. Didn't, didn't Felipe Massa race in Formula E once? I saw a green helmet. Each time I see a green helmet, it reminds me of Felipe Massa. Just gonna try and cover him off. Don't try and sort of force him to stay behind. There you go, nice. Don't get alongside me, if not that will be bad for me. Damn, we're actually keeping them at bay. They're not getting alongside. Whoa. Okay. So you're using push to pass now? Or do I just have better straight line speed? I'm um, going up a rouge and radio now. Oh, he's just staying there. Still alongside. Oh, and my! Okay. 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 Wow. Time to see if that was my fault. Did he go up a rouge there? I cut the corner a bit. Oh yeah, I just squeezed into him. It caused a monumental crash. Okay, I can't do a c I can't even do a spin turn. Um Okay. Alright. We're back in the game. Tires are probably a bit hot, but that should be fine. Let's try and not cause another monumental crash. Oh, we can take pool one flat out? Okay. Is that battery column on the wheel like for um, the ERS or is it the <laughs> actual battery remaining? We're going to bus stop chicane. A bit, bit of a battle happening up ahead. And he just creeps around the outside. And going into the penultimate lap. Seems like we got a bit of a fight on our hands now. Oopsie. Never mind, sorry. Oh, it's been a bad, very tough race. Alright, get him up on a rouge. And on to Radion, Valtteri Baltas, Mark Webber. Probably could have got past if I didn't lock up. 
him. He's defending with all his life. I'm gonna cover off this guy. Maybe I think I think it that has the same livery as the Mercedes. Oh gosh, he's going really slow. Mid corner had to lift tr to avoid running into him. I'm having a nice battle here on the last lap. Alright, here we go. Alright, just gonna fly by him. Thank you very much. On the grass a bit, Alexander Albin style. Maybe we can get one more guy in the bus stop chicane. Do I just wanna go for it or be clean? Yep, I'm gonna go for it. Why are you going to the pits? The guy had. Oh no. For good measure, we spit on the last lap. Oh my gosh. Ah, well. Well, that was quite bad. So, do I think racing Formula E cars at Spa work? I do not. And a very simple reason is because these cars aren't really built for purpose-built track. They are built for narrow, tight street circuits, so which is why it doesn't really work at Spa. And yes, I know Formula E has had races at purpose-built tracks before, as I mentioned in the intro of the video, but it's their own layout. It's a completely different layout from the actual Grand Prix track, so that's why it, it's able to work, and you just can't do that at Spa. Like, I don't know, you turn after a Rouge? That's just weird. 1994, but weirder. So that's it for today's video. I definitely will do more stuff with Formula E. I'm not sure if I'm gonna ever touch Gen 3 cars because I personally like the Gen 2 cars more. More Formula E tracks because I really find Formula E tracks interesting. Or maybe do 1v1s with Formula E and GT3 cars because I feel like GT3 is the closest to Formula E in terms of... You know overall pace wise or maybe i'm tripping maybe it's gt4 i don't know thanks for watching and goodbye